guys, happy couple here. Today's video is 10 things that you can ask on a first date or any date. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell. Ding, ding. Sometimes when you're on a date, maybe you kind of run out of things to say or you feel like you're just grilling the person and you wanna make the conversation a little more unique, a little more fun for that moment, maybe get over an awkward silence or something like that. So these are 10 fun questions that you can ask to just make things fun and interesting. And not all of these are gonna work for you. So like watch the entire video and see all of these and you'll find the ones that would come out more naturally for you. If you think of a fun question to ask, leave it in the comments below. The first one is, what was your favorite vacation? Where'd you go? What'd you do? Should we answer these as we go? Sure. Ooh, super fun. Okay, my favorite vacation, probably gonna have to say New Hampshire with you. Did Although that. Colorado was really fun too. Colorado, dude. <laughs> They're all up there. The next one is, if you could relive any day of your life that you have already lived, which one would it be and why? That's a really good one because <laughs> some people might might be like, oh, this could be an option to like do a take back, you know? And some people True. might just say, that day was so amazing, I just would like to do it again. I had a lot of good days. I know. I can think of a couple. I mean, you know, there's an interesting thing when uh, on, a, on a redo, you know, uh, it's always easy to look back at life and be like, could have done better there, you know? So you like go back in life and to be able to like change some scenario. And I, I would say that probably the common one would be a time where I doubted my own integrity. Like I knew Good something, one. you know, and then I didn't kind of like stick to my guns and I just went ahead and did it anyways. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Yep. That's a good one. Okay, this is a funny one. If you could be a character in any movie, which character in the movie and why? I know mine, <laughs> easy. Iron Man. Oh, I thought you were going Die Hard. Or Top Gun. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> or <laughs> Iron Man. But yeah, Iron Man, I feel you. Because then I can fly and mess stuff up, which is like the best <laughs> of Die Hard and Top Gun all together. I mean, and his house is great and you could save it before they blew it up. Yeah, that was so sad. Mine would obviously, obviously be Nateri in Avatar. Definitely. For all of the obvious she's 12 reasons. feet tall and blue. This one is fun and we actually got this from another video that I just thought was really cute. So you basically have to give each other rapper names. <laughs> Wait, give each other rapper yeah. names or give yourself a rapper name? Give each name? other rapper names. So you have to give So that's me a, a dangerous game. one on I a know. date. <laughs> that's risky. Big Rizzle. <laughs> it's Some, terrible. Somehow Unicorn Flamethrower would have to be put into essentially a rapper name. I like it. I'm just add Izzle to the yeah. end. Yeah, <laughs> Unicorn <laughs> Flamethrower Izzle. There fame you. thrizzle. Fame, flame, thrizzle. Flame, flame, thrizzle. You got it. Okay. You guys got it. Let us know if you have a better way. How would you say unicorn flamethrower in a rapper name? <laughs> the next one would be like, what's your favorite or more, most interesting book? That gets a little more deep. Very deep. Unless they're like Charlotte's Web and just because that was the last <laughs> book I read, then that's okay too. That is okay. I have two actually. One is The Burning Shore by Wilbur Smith. Because that was the book, I didn't used to like to read, and that was the book that really, really took me on a journey the way a book is supposed to, and I, I really began to love reading with that. It was such a beautiful romance, beautiful adventure. The writing was spectacular. It kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time I read it. Um, and it just really showed me what that kind of world is all about. And then um, more recently, The Night Circus. It's just spectacular. It's the most vivid imagery I've ever seen experienced in a book. You should read it. Read these books, guys. Read them. And you have to read mine too. What's yours? Probably Rework by 37 Signals. Jason Fried and those guys over there, they did a good job. It actually helped me a lot because it shifted our mindset as it related to how we develop products. We do a lot of software products for clients, but how we do them 
in a way that keeps us focused on kind of what's important to the company, which basically allows us to do the best work for the most number of people. And their whole philosophy on it is really cool. And I, I honestly believe that anybody who's involved in any way in business, in any aspect of your life, AKA like almost everybody, should read that because just the mindset was interesting. They're a little more extreme than I am with how I applied it, but that viewpoint really actually helped us make some big shifts I'll in our company. It. It's a good one. Okay. This one is very simple, but also kind of cool. Where is somewhere that you have always wanted to go? Also leave this in the comments. I want to know yours. One, two, three, Greece. Santorini, Greece. <laughs> Absolutely. And Ireland. Yeah. Both. It's true. They're like, like they go like this. Well, it's always actually Santorini and then Ireland, like right But hers is Santorini there. with white wardrobes. Yes, and then Ireland with a gown blowing in the breeze as I stand by a cliff, you know? It's very specific, guys. <laughs> in case you're wondering. What's yours? Ireland. Okay. I just don't have the standing in the wind with a dress. We can get you a, a tux with great coattails and a top hat. <laughs> with a big white stallion horse galloping with a sword. Done. All right, how about this one? Strangest food combination you've tried and liked. I mean, I already you know, know where mine. She's going with Pickles this. and cheesecake, spectacular. Not the same bite, but like one bite and then one bite. You know, you get the sweet and the salty, like the the creamy and the tangy. It's like it's a whole experience. What's yours? I don't have anything that weird. Oh man. Because I don't try weird things. Fair. I've eaten some things that were like this thing and this thing that don't go together. I just separated it enough that it was really two different things, not like that <laughs> one. Well, we have a friend um, who he ate and it was a peanut butter and jelly and egg salad sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> he liked it. Michael, if you're watching Yeah, this, try to top that, guys. If you could have any unusual or exotic animal as a pet, which one would it be? I think a cheetah would be really cool. Cheetahs are cool. Ah, eh, but let's be real. A zebra. Fully, fully zebra. What am I even Unfortunately, saying? Unfortunately, my lion would eat her zebra, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, it'd have to be, like, whatever. For it not to be wild and for it to make sense, you'd have to really be set up well for it. Yeah. This is not one of those questions that poses a good idea. No. It's more just the fun concept because I think it'd be really awesome, you know, like ride a zebra to work. <laughs> it's so cool. All right. So here's a good one. What is your, what is the most important thing in your life right now? That's going to get you some like really deep understanding of the person too. Well, there's no wrong answer. It's not like it has to be like, my true love for you. Yes. Although that is it, automatically. I love it. You get it, right? Yes. Helping people and the people that I love and the people that I know, as well as the people that I don't know. You know, yeah. just helping. We've both been having a lot of fun with that. Yeah, that's really something that is super important to both of us that we both work on on a daily basis. So um, yeah, I'd say that. The next one is, what is your favorite thing to do on weekends? Or, you know, in your general time off, whenever that might be for you. Yeah. Honestly, I love working out. I really do. I love working out, uh, particularly like with friends um, is great. And spending time with this guy. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, I've been really enjoying in my Ironman training, going on the weekends and doing like long rides and runs. Crazy long rides. <laughs> and. I like doing them not with other people, except for probably a select person or people who are just very easy logistically to do it with, like back and forth and back and forth. I'm like, next, and I just go out by myself. You don't like large coordinating group texts that go on for weeks? No, like I'll tell you, one of my worst <laughs> nightmares besides tchotchkes Ooh, yeah. is going out, if we were like gonna plan a trip and we were gonna do that with like a very large group of people and I had to be involved in any aspect of organizing it at all, I'm out. That's my job. That's your job. That's your job. All right, so if you had to eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I think you're gonna get some really fun answers yeah, to this question. Um, and we definitely wanna know yours, so leave a comment below. What is 
the one food that if you had to only have that one food for the rest of your life, you could actually do. For me, I don't know if this is like a, a cop out because there's variety, but I would say fruit as a whole, but that's that's not so much one food. Oh, it's one like food. one food Come on. group. That's like saying food. Oh, that's true. Um, mangoes, maybe. For me, it'd be along the lines of rice and beans. Like in terms of something I would actually sort of be able to survive on. Although I don't eat rice and beans a lot. Not not at all. Are we counting that as one food though? Yeah. Okay. Cause you eat like, come on. This is not like fruit. Okay, fruit salad. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice, hack the system, that was good. The next one is really funny. What is the weirdest thing that you have seen in a public place? We've seen some really interesting well, things. I've seen some weird stuff. I don't know if this is the weirdest, but it's the one that comes to mind. Yesterday, I saw a man riding a motorcycle with a helmet that had Viking horns on it. And I was like, you know, get it. I saw a dude running with a loincloth. Okay, you do you, man. Just saying, <laughs> whatever you're into, bro. We hope that these give you some fun ideas of questions to ask on dates. If you have other good ones or fun answers for, for you, leave that in the comments below, share this video, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.